guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for this week i thought maybe we could take a break from all the kitchen renovation videos and i would share a couple of wall decor that i made recently so let's just get into them so for my first diy i was inspired by this beautiful art piece i grabbed a piece of laminate that i had in my stash it's covered with i don't even know what um but it didn't matter to me because i was going to be covering it up anyways then I grabbed a piece of leftover craft paper that I had and as you can see I was trying to make sort of like a little ball around shape um, to mimic the shapes that were on the art piece. I don't know what to call those. Um, so I just, like I said, made a little ball, used some super glue to attach it to my laminate. Then I repeated the same thing, made some random pieces, and by random I mean I didn't want my shapes to be the same size. Now the original inspo had some round ones and some oval ones. I forgot to make oval pieces and most of my pieces ended up looking round, which did work out, but I feel like adding some oval pieces would help make your piece look more organic. And the other thing is that, as you can see, the craft paper was looking super angular and it had tons of sharp edges. It wasn't very smooth, which I was able to fix, but yeah, that's just something to note. You could use something else instead of the craft paper. I would definitely do that. Um, then I mixed some PVA glue with some water, made a runny mixture, brushed it on my piece, and then put a tissue on the piece and just started brushing more of the mixture on my tissue kind of just helping the tissue stick to the piece and as you can see it was not looking perfect there were tons of wrinkles my tissue was ripped in areas but none of it really matters it's supposed to look very organic and textured um, so yeah, I just kept on adding the tissue covering the piece completely. So when I got to this point, I realized I didn't like how sharp and angular my pieces were looking. So what I did was I would grab a little piece of, a tiny piece of the tissue put it in the areas that needed to be, you know, built up. And I would just use the mixture to kind of just glue it there. I don't know how to explain it. Sort of, it sort of acted like clay, I would say, because I would use a ton of the mixture, make the tissue super soft, and then I could just shape it however I wanted to. I wasn't going to make my pieces very perfect, but... I wanted more rounded pieces, if that makes sense. If I were to do this again, I would definitely use something else instead of the craft paper, maybe using paper mache um, to build the shapes. I don't know. It was just a lot of work. It took me hours to um, fix the problem and make my shapes look how I wanted them to, but it worked in the end. I gave my piece a couple of hours to dry a little bit more and then I added another layer of the tissue. You obviously don't need to do this, but I actually really enjoyed this process. Um, it was a very slow process, but it was kind of therapeutic for me in a way. Um, I was able to just watch my favorite show and work on this piece for hours. And I also made sure to cover the sides just so I would have a very uniform piece in the end. The next day, once the piece was completely dry, I decided to sand it down just a little bit, just to get rid of some of the roughness, some of the extra texture textures. The piece was looking a bit too textured, um, especially in the background. You can see there, was, there were tons of wrinkles. 
I felt like having a more subtle texture would look nicer, so I just sanded it down just a little bit. Then it was time to paint the piece. I grabbed some white acrylic paint and a tiny bit of black acrylic paint. At first I thought I wanted to go with a lighter piece, uh, but then I changed my mind and I ended up using a ton more of the black paint. I just sprayed some water on my piece just to make it kind of wet. Um, and then I grabbed some of the paint, it doesn't matter which one, and started dabbing it on my piece. And as you can see, I'm just trying to blend them. And the wetness of the piece allows you to have more time. The paints don't dry super quickly. So you can just go over it over and over if your piece is looking darker than you would like you can just add more of the white paint if it's looking lighter you can just add more of the black which is what i ended up doing dabbing a little tissue um, on my paint while it was still wet kind of helped blend them nicer i don't know it just really helped with the paints with the colors um, looking really blended and nice and that was just it for this piece For the second DIY, I was inspired by these wall hangings. I've been obsessed with these for a long time, but it just kind of intimidated me always. Um, this time I decided to just give it a try. I decided to start with a small piece, a small wall hanging to see if, you know, I could make one that looked as good as the ones I saw on Pinterest. Um, I grabbed a, a thick macrame rope, I unraveled it and started brushing it just to, you know, make it looser. Once I was happy with the length, I just cut my piece, grabbed a metal ring and as you can see, I've already tied a thin but strong thread to my ring. I put the macrame on my already existing thread. And I grabbed a little plastic ball. The ball is what we're going to be using to make those round shapes, um, round sections of the wall hanging. And here I was just testing to see if my macrame was enough to cover the ball completely, which was not. I ended up separating another section of the rope and brushing that also. And then I was just able to add that to the rest of my macrame. Um, as you can see, I'm brushing it again. And then I used a black yarn, put it on my piece and kind of made a little loop, I guess. Brought the end of my rope, my yarn to the back side, then brought it towards the top. I don't know how to explain this. You can see what I'm doing. I started wrapping the yarn around my macrame piece. I repeated the same thing a couple times until it was super tight. Then I brought the other end of the yarn and fed it through the little loop. Started kind of just pulling the other tip. Um, and this way I was able to hide my knot underneath the rest of the yarn and i just cut the remaining pieces of the yarn i don't know how exactly this method is done because i was left with this random piece of yarn that i didn't know what to do with i ended up just cutting it and using a needle to hide this one behind the yarns as well but i definitely don't know if this was the right method to do this I repeated the same thing with some mustard yarn. The 
problem with this macrame was that it would tangle up so easily and I had to keep on brushing if I had kind of just hung my piece and worked on it like that maybe it would help but I just had a lot of problems with um, my macrame pieces getting all tangled up so anyways I grabbed the thinner thread that was at the middle and just fed it through this little plastic ball and I tried to cover the ball with my macrame and I was just brushing it making it look all nice and smooth I was happy I repeated the same thing under the ball and just made my wall hanging again super tight and neat looking as neat as I possibly could um, I definitely think this could look much better i think the balls that i was using were a bit large for what i was going for and maybe the macrame was of poor quality i don't know it just didn't look as tidy as i would have liked to but it was a good practice i would say so anyways i repeated the same thing a couple more times i ended up creating three round sections round pieces my the one that i'm the most obsessed with is this beautiful wall hanging and i don't know i think maybe someday i will be brave enough to try and make that but for now i'm happy with this tiny little one So once I finished the third ball, I just cut the end shorter and just brushed it and made it look all nice and beautiful and the wall hanging was done. So I hope you enjoyed today's DIYs. If you did, please let me know down below which one was your favorite. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hope to see you again. Bye!